Hello, today I would like to talk about uh, our work which is entitled Monitoring Honeybees Using a Sensor Network. Uh, my team is uh, Andrzej Sobetsky, who uh, was responsible for acquisition of large scale data and Timoteusz Cyrowski, uh, who uh, made electronics and all sensors uh, to that work, and uh, myself, Julian Szymański, who uh, made uh, and data analysis uh, for that project. We are from Gdańsk University of Technology, Poland. If you have any questions or you would like to get more details, please contact me directly to the email which is uh, written here. Uh, eHive Projects is uh, about monitoring of uh, honeybees using uh, sensors that uh, we put into the hive. The main objectives of uh, in this project is to develop of IoT for monitoring bees with putting number of sensors into the hive to acquisit the signals. Basically, uh, the sensors are microphone, the humidity and temperature sensor that we put inside and outside the hive. We also have airflow uh, sensors, uh, the weight and carbon disoxidation uh, sensors that allows us to test the quality of the air. Uh, we also put uh, cameras outside the hive uh, to monitor uh, hive entrance. Uh, this is a view of my apinary. We uh, here you can see the wires that are put uh, into the electronics uh, to support electronics in, in, uh, in the hive and uh, here we have a general working schema of our system we put into each hive uh, electronics that allows us to acquire the, uh, the signals and uh, using uh, um, radio frequency, we put it uh, it into endpoint where we have a, a GPRS and we transfer uh, via uh, GPRS uh, to the server raw of data. And there we can uh, also connect the computer or a mobile device to uh, to see the process at uh, the data but before we do we need to make this whole uh, sequence of the steps we need to filter the, the data to we need to extract uh, particular features that allows us to uh, get some uh, significant information. Uh, we also made some extensions of the data because usually the data what uh, we grab um, directly from uh, from the hives are not sufficient. Then based on them, we made a model that is learned, and then we may perform some classification task that uh, I will talk about uh, later. Uh, here is a view of how we put uh, sensors uh, into the in frame B frames, and this is a two methods uh, depending on what we want to uh, to acquisit. Here is a um, temperature and humidity sensors. Here uh, we grab the 
the uh, data from the microphone. Also, we have uh, sensors to monitor airflow. This is uh, this uh, small sensors that allows to detect the the air flow that uh, is in the hive. Uh, as you can see, the system uh, is now a little bit. Uh, complicated we need to get uh, two raspberry pis to uh, to acquisit the, this data and what we did uh, uh, using uh, using this uh, data acquisition from uh, from the sensors uh, first thing we we record the b sounds and we did a classifier that allows us to detect whether a bee queen is in the hive or not this is a very important factor for a beekeeper to know whether the bee queen is in the hive or if uh, she not uh, he or she needs to uh, support somehow um, somehow the bee colony usually um, it is done by uh, manually reviewing the age uh, of the frame here we made the classifier based on support vector machines and um, we did such an experiment where we have a, a hive with a bee in between or uh, after we put uh, put a new uh, new bee queen into the hive and uh, the data uh, which we acquisit in that experiment allows us to uh, make the classifying uh, classifying decision that allows us to detect whether the queen is missing or uh, not and the details uh, of uh, that process we uh, publish in uh, in the proceeding of acids and it's entitled detection of the big queen presence using sound analysis as i told we also have a cameras uh, on the um, before the hive entrance and uh, we made a video analysis that allows us to text uh, the bees on the videos here uh, we have an uh, example how our system is uh, detects uh, is detecting in the uh, and the bees it allows us also to trace uh, the way uh, of the bees and it allows us to count the number of the bees entering into the hive and getting out of the hive it allows us to evaluate the strength of the bee uh, be family and to detect uh, how the whole family detect uh, develops during the whole uh, whole season uh, the details of our system are the uh, and the method for uh, this video analysis has been uh, put uh, into the proceedings of ICDC and the work is entitled Bees Detection on Image Study of Different Core Models for Neural Networks. Uh, we use a um, deep convolutional architecture which is uh, uh, depicted here. I will not go into details uh, for now and we um, evaluate uh, how usage of different color models allows us to 
uh, to create a very precise classifier that detects uh, and detect uh, the B on the image. Uh, in our project, we also use uh, accelerometers to detect the vibrations of um, the uh, of the bees in the hive. Now we are working on detecting uh, using these accelerometers uh, small uh, swarming, and uh, while uh, the bees are preparing to to swarm and this accelerometers uh, and this data from the accelerometers allows us to detect this stage we also made on um, analysis on um, of the boost uh, of uh, uh, of the uh, bees and it allows us to recognize the carcidium rhythm of the bee family and uh, this uh, work has been published in computer electronics in agriculture uh, basically is uh, this all what i would like to um, just briefly mention of our project Thank you for your attention and if you have any questions, please ask.